these are some of the basic things i'm going to use to make my elf shoulder i've got about one and a half yards of fabric an elastic band for the sleeve i've got my front and back pattern and i've got my sleeve pattern as well so now i'm going to show you how i extended my sleeve so here is my sleeve pattern and what i'm going to do is i'll be cutting through the center line of the sleeve all through the sleeve edge now i'm going to be adding an extra paper underneath the sleeve the purpose of doing this is to make the sleeve voluminous so this extra paper i'm just going to fold it over so that i have a center point i'm going to start from now i'm just going to draw a straight line to mark my center point like so now i'm going to mark 3.5 inches away from the center point i'm going to mark them on both sides like so and i'm going to draw a straight parallel line Now I'm placing the two pattern pieces on the same line, on the parallel line that I just made. And since my paper is already matte, it makes it a bit easier for me to know where to put the pattern piece. Now go ahead and use a sticky tape to tape it down. And do the same on the other side of the paper. Now I'll go ahead and connect the lower part with the straight line and I'll do the same for the upper part as well and then cut it out and our sleeve is ready. Now we're going to start by cutting our pattern. Now place your fabric on fold as I have done with the right side facing each other. Place your front pattern on it. We're going to be cutting double of this one. Now I'm marking half an inch on the front seam. I'm also going to mark half an inch seam allowance on the ammo line. The side as well, I'm going to mark half an inch. Then on the M line, I'm going to mark one inch. I'm using the straight part of the ruler to connect the straight side and the curved part of the ruler will be used to connect the ammo. Now go ahead and cut it out. Also extend your darts at the dart leg like so. So extend this part and notch it with your scissors. Also on the dart leg, which is this point here, go ahead and put a pin so that you know where to start the dart from. Now I'm going to set the front piece aside and cut the back piece. Now place your fabric on fold with the right side facing each other like this. And place your back pattern piece on it. So this part will be placed on fold. On the M line, measure one inch allowance. On the arm, will measure half inch allowance. At the neckline, half inch allowance and half inch allowance also at the side as well. Now trace out all the same allowances and cut the back pattern out. Now it's time to cut the sleeve pattern. Place your fabric on fold with right side facing each other like so. And place your sleeve pattern. I folded my pattern a little bit just because I don't have enough fabric to cut the long sleeve. Now add half inch allowance on the sides, on the two sides. Add half inch allowance on the curved arm part. And on the cuff, you're going to add one inch. So on this part, you're going to add one inch. Now 
mark out all your seam allowances and cut them out. To cut the belt, I folded two strips of fabric together because I'll be cutting out two belts. I now folded them over like so. Now I'm marking 3.5 inches for the width of the belt. And the length of the belt should be about 35 inches. You can make it longer if you desire. It depends on your preference. Now at the edge here, I'm just going to slant it. Because I want a triangle shape at the edge, then I'll go ahead and cut it out. Now I'm going to take all the pattern piece to the sewing machine after cutting them. Now the first thing I'll be doing is to join the belt together. Now separate the two belts, fold the fabric with the right side facing each other and sew it from the triangle part all the way. And make sure to leave this part open because that's where we'll be turning it from. And do the same to the other belt as well. Now use your scissors to clip the sharp ends like this so that when you're turning it, it will be nice and crisp. Also, you can turn it with anything like pencil or pen, but I have um, like a screwdriver here, so I'm going to use it to turn it inside out. And go ahead and iron it after turning it out. Do the same for the other belt as well. Again, copy and paste pretty faces all the time. Picture so perfect, we play through. Only cause you set up the angle Web that you weave got us tangled Caught in what's before our eyes Show off your fantasy reality Whoa, that's yours but I'll keep doing After ironing, we're going to take in the front dot You remember we have a, our notch part for the dot So we're going to take it in And remember that we have a chalk mark here Where the dot is going to end So clip your um, dots like so and sew it right up to where the chalk mark is and do the same for the other front part as well Now place your right side of the front pattern to match the right side of the back pattern. And now we're going to sew it at half an inch. But we're going to leave a space just right under the bust line just to make the belt pass through. So we're going to leave an opening of about 2 inches so that the belt can pass through it. Now this is the two inches I left for the opening of the belt. This is how it looks and this is how it looks on the outside. So if you put your best belt through, you should come out through here. So now I'm going to stitch the edge of the back piece like so at half an inch. And I'll do the same for the front piece as well. I'm just going to fold it at two quarters and I'm going to stitch it down.
now go ahead and stitch the lower part at one inch from one hand to the other hand like so i'll also make a loose stitch on this end of the front panel because i would like to gather it to the size of the belt after making your loose stitch gather it to the size of the belt and make sure it matches so our belt is three inches so i'm going to make sure that i gather it to up to three inches so that i can sew it together After pulling your fabric to form the girders, attach the belt to the right side of the fabric and sew it down and do the same for the other front panel and go ahead and overlock the rough edges when you're done sewing. Perfection, what is it we chase? Bow for your 15 seconds of fame. It's your time. Give me the messy, give me the pain. A rose will not Our top is almost done at this stage after stitching the belt. I'm going to put the top piece aside and I'm going to go move on to the sleeve. Now fold your sleeve pattern over like so with the right side facing each other and stitch it at half an inch allowance all the way. After stitching it, go ahead and overlock it. Also, at the edge of the sleeve, I'm going to overlock it because I'll be stitching it down at half an inch as well. Now, go ahead and turn it right side out after stitching and overlocking. Now, I'm going to be stitching the edge of the sleeve, which is the part that has the armor line. I'm going to stitch it at half an inch, but I'm going to leave an opening. You know, when you stitch it at half an inch, there'll be an opening. That's where I'm going to put the elastic through. Now, do the same for the other sleeve as well. Also, at the cuff where I open, I'm going to stitch it at one inch allowance. And I'm going to leave one inch allowance so that I'll be able to pass an elastic through as well. So, elastic will be at the top and at the bottom of the sleeve. Never know the things that you're feeling. Capture your body, get your best side. Breathe in the world, fake us a smile. Walk in the lines, fine. But I hope one day you'll break up. To cut your elastic, measure your round hand measurement like this and cut two out. Also measure your bicep measurement and cut two out. And all these are without allowances because we'll be using it for two sleeves. Now I'm going to use a safety pin to insert my elastic band into the opening of the sleeve. Picture so perfect we play through Only cause you set up the angle Web that you weave got us tangled Caught in what's before our eyes Show off your fantasy reality, whoa, that's yours, but I'll keep doing mine. You'll be living your good life, catch a glimpse from the outside, then you see me now, see me now, see now. Don't need any timeline to prove that this is my life. I can see it now, see Perfection, what is it we chase? Bow for your 15 seconds of fame. It's your time. Give me the messy, give me the pain. A rose will not grow without the rain. I wanna be someone who says there's more than meets the eye. 
After inserting the elastic, I went ahead to sew it down on my machine just to secure it. And this is how it looks. Now I'm going to be attaching it to the top. This is the armhole of the bodice. I'm going to attach the armhole of the sleeve, the joining part, to the armhole of the bodice. And I'm going to do the same for the other sleeve as well. I'm going to pin it round and take it to my machine to sew it down. So I went ahead to sew it at half an inch allowance which is what I left for my seam allowance and I also overlocked the rough edges if you made it this far thank you for watching also put up your notification bell if you've not done so subscribe if you've not done so and if this video was helpful give it a thumbs up see you in the next video bye